Hi, my name is Puka. Uh, I'm going to be explaining the procedure of this oil painting, Rain for Forever. This painting is um, is uh, the continuity of one of the Seal of the Queen painting I've started in her Diamond Jubilee. In the Diamond Jubilee, I've done four painting about the King Diamond Jubilee but this year I'm going to be doing only one piece large pieces is 250 by 180 and the title is King Forever you can see here I've done the background in two tone but I've mixed it different color to to have it a bit dark and more darker down the second tone is more darker it's dark at the top and uh, the the I could have changed the background and put the British flag or surround the chariot with a lot of people but because of the, the shadow is mostly composed of gold so I said to myself for the gold to shine better it would be good to have uh, a darker background something a bit brownie and uh, because of the theme as well in Queen Forever what will happen here around the crown I'm going to put the Queen hair but no face because to 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 be a forever queen is is a, a matter of of the history surviving after her death. So that is uh, the that is why the, the face is not going to be there. And um, what I did is I couldn't find the full picture of. Uh, the King Charlotte online. I've looked, I've looked, I couldn't find the full picture. So this is the best picture I managed to find. And what I did is I've drawn on the picture and sent the reflection of the drawing on the large canvas. For me to be almost accurate when it comes to the shape and the form because to to complete the reel here is important to keep the shape of the chariot because you can see the chariot here in the image it looks small but in fact it's very big because the king and the king are sitting there and the hat have to reflect you see the body on the seat so to have the full chariot on the large canvas and keep the shape is very good to send the reflection from this paper the large canvas now it's difficult to to see the different the smaller shape of of the canvas just by looking at the picture so what i did is with my ipad I've zoomed into into the main picture then managed to draw because not every painting need drawing but for some detail it's important to draw so I spent almost a week drawing drawing to have the amplification of what I want to do you can see like uh, the drawing here this part there you can see the drawing you can see the faces everything coming and uh, because I'm using the gold paint the gold paint is not easy to apply on the canvas this is the the first coat because I'm going to paint over this one when it come to the to the faces so I'm just laying out all the form then I'm going to come back when this part is dry I'm going to come back on top of it to make the gun shine so I will be posting 
I'm showing the procedure. So here you have the shadow, the foot length of the shadow coming up to this corner and this rail is there and the other rail is there. So I start painting the shadow this week. So I'm going to be doing some paint to see, to show how I'm doing it because inside the shadow is red it's red so this is the other back because here it's going to be a 3d so it's going to be more darker there and dark here so i just laying it out at the moment because i can paint over everything so i'm just doing like um, the first the first mapping of 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 the uh, of the painting so when you're doing at this stage there is nothing need to be perfect but it's important to to do it right because it's from this shape that the perfection will be established so if this is not right then it will be a bit difficult to to have it right so the inspiration about this painting is greatness because a lot of artists are struggling when come to to choose what to paint so this painting is about greatness because we are as an artist uh, i believe that is important to mark our time to mark our time so that the next generation by looking at our painting they will reflect the time you have been living in it's like um, to to see some of the great artists like Monet and all the Renaissance we can look into the time and see the kind of life that they have been dwelling with the surrounding of, of of the time is seen through all the beautiful landscape and uh, the angel flying going up and down you can see the belief system the christianity shining through the painting so our time today is like uh, i'm in london and uh, in the, this summer there will be four days of people enjoying the the 70 years reign of the queen so this is the time in london you are living with i mean this is one of the main news the main coming news for us so by doing such a painting in time people will reflect how was it in 2022 in london because some of uh, the other uh, diamond jubilee painting collection that i have that was in 2012 and it was the year of the olympic so it was also a wonderful time to be in london so i've immortalized those events through paintings and that is why we are artists we are artists first of all to to immortalize our time into eternity because I may not appreciate the fullness of what I'm doing right now because I'm directly involved into the process. But in time, just like when I'm going to museum and gallery, I'm trying to, to capture the spirit of the artist and the time they have been producing those great art so 
that is the same spirit I'm trying to put into what I'm doing, meaning try to inform those who are to be born on what was the motivation to do such of masterpiece. So here, because the inner charlotte is red, because of the, the reflection, I haven't got, I have to step back to look how the, ref, the reflection should be. So I'm just putting the first coat of this kind of dark red because it's into the carriage and I have to make sure as well when I'm going to be putting the gold here that the inner carriage can reflect and the, the crown can be seen properly. So uh, I'm using the flexibility in, in colors and uh, because I know I'm going to come again on it so it's not too it's not it's not something I have to be extremely careful what I'm doing but I have just to put the paint so it's important if you want to to learn how to do masterpiece to chill to to take it easy because all painting for me is one of the best form of of medium you can use to do your your master's piece because you have just to train a bit and uh, you can paint it leave it come back over it but some of other medium like acrylic acrylic is drying quick and you have to paint quick of course you can come back over it when it's dry but if i was working with acrylic if I cannot speak like I'm speaking or walk easily like I'm walking easy because one of the videos I'm going to be doing is going to be actually then you will be understanding what I'm trying to explain here but with oil painting it's so easy because you have the control of the brush the control of what you're laying out and you can still coming back into it so the top of the chariot is a bit darker because it's where there is less light now that I'm coming down to the level of, of a face, I'm trying to, to add more red. More red. I uh, can still changing the red later on. Making it more bright or more dark. But at the moment, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a bit more bright. Then I may change my mind later on so I'm going to add a bit of red to make it flow a bit dark red to make it flow a bit so to work with oil paint is very easy it's very easy but you have just to be patient you don't press the paint on the canvas you have to take your time to make it right i'm using a small brush because i'm still in the stage of putting everything together meaning i have to be a bit careful and cautious of uh, because at this stage is a matter of of uh, precision and the technique as well is different in each painting because i start with the, the back the background and I start with the tree top there now I'm coming down from there because when I did the tree sort of pillar I couldn't go straight there because of the shape of the leaves so I went there and I went here and I went here now I'm coming there because I couldn't start there I'm coming there and stopping right here then I will come back from here to bring it down to the last part so it's also a stage of how to which kind of style how to to abort 
the painting, how to deal with the painting so that it wouldn't cause any difficulty. And you can see if uh, the old painting, you don't have to take it a lot. You have just dip your brush. So you cannot be dirty. Of course, this is new, but most of my work are almost in the same, in the same speed. I don't put painting on me. I'm using tissue here when I want to, to wipe my brush. I'm wiping it on the, on the material. So, um, very clean with paint. It's always under the control. And it make it very easy to manage because with this style, I'm, I'm a professional artist. I mean, I paint for life from morning, eight o'clock to 12 o'clock then 12 to 4, sometimes 5, sometimes 3. So this is how to paint. So this, this is it for the first part of the shadow, the first session of this paint is so I can step back now and look because I didn't touch the crown because there is a lot of drop in there and a lot of color so I'm going to go down to here and I can cut off the leaves and close it down here then I have all this space to to put the first coat then when I'm going to close it down I have to start here because if I start here then it's easy to to go down to the end so the choice of of canvas or what to draw or what to represent also choose the kind of brush and color to be on display so this is the first part when i'm going to be doing the other part i'm going to do the next video and i'm going to be talking about uh, the difficulty about the respect of the line and everything and how to correct them to make the job to look fantastic. Thank you.